Hey everyone, this is Delroy again with the r, &R Group. Um, if you've seen some of my posts and videos, or more recently we're on a trend right now of creating wealth um, and not war just with all the turmoil that's going on in the world. So I'm here to still just give you education, information, and help you build and grow wealth within your community and your family. Um, today we're going to talk about the three P's. People, product, and process. This is basically the fundamental things for any business. Let's start with people. We'll kind of just brainstorm out on what these are. So people. So when you're when you when you have a business or when you're trying to grow and when you're trying to fulfill your goals, you need to have um, good mentors around you. You need to have good people in place, employees, management, everything you need. If you're in a big corporation of a hundred people, if you're in a small business of two people, you want those two people. If you're the one, you better be good, and the person that you hire needs to be the best too. So you need to have good people in place. So that's the main thing. First thing is, let's call it <clears throat> an assistant. For me, I've just hired an assistant. I have to make sure that she fulfills the role that's needed. So you need to have good people in place. Okay, you also need to have... Mentors. Having good mentors... Um, is going to help elevate you and you should be bringing fresh ideas to your mentor and your mentor should be giving you ideas and then you kind of hone them in together with experience and freshness so those two things combined is why you need mentors and then you have a higher goal to achieve that person should be doing just financially better than you it doesn't mean that they're a better person or they're mentally more stable or all the other things but they're just at a level that you're trying to achieve that type of success and you want to follow some steps of their path um, of how they've reached that success. You're going to create your own destiny. You're going to create your own way of doing things, but you're just using them as some fundamental foundation steps on how you're going to create your business and move it forward. When you think about people, this is one of the main things, to know what you're good at, okay? Everyone is going to do their business and operate in a certain way. And when you hire people, you're going to hire them for a certain thing. And you have to know within yourself what you're good at. Which is like... <clears throat> marketing. Having good marketing and a person to do marketing, if that's not you, you're going to need this in every business. So make sure you have a person or yourself that is handling that side of the business, okay? And then the last thing I wanna say about it is accountability. Accountability is definitely a key, key, key thing um, that you need to be able to progress because when you're taking those steps, if you're not taking them, you're not going to reach your goal. A lot of times people think us as real estate agents, our product are houses. Maybe to some real estate agents, but not to me. My product is people and secondary, it's houses. But for me to get a house, again, I need to meet the person. Network. Networking is the key to developing the people that I need in my business. When I go out to network, I ask people about what they do and then find out if they're having any areas that they're struggling with or they need any help with stuff. And I, I pride myself on being a connector. So I'll go out, if you tell me you need something, I'll find somebody else that can connect you with to resolve that problem. So I'm just here to help problems and that's kind of how I run my real estate business too. I'm a problem solver. Um, so. If you go into a networking environment with that mind frame, that person is going to be more likely to remember you and to be thankful for something that you've done um, because of your kindness, because of your generosity. You've helped them now solve a problem they had. Why are they not going to come back to you? You did it. I don't, I don't seek any like reward from doing that. If they never buy a house from me, I'm still going to do the same thing I did the same day and still offer that help. I offer help to anyone that needs it that I can serve or give value to. So just go in there. As I said, everybody has their own way, but me, I go in as a connector and go in as a problem solver. Next one. This is probably my favorite process. So I've just hired a new assistant. I have a new listing. 
I give her a sheet and it tells you every single step there is to do with a new listing for an under contract, for a brand new buyer, uh, for a brand new uh, fix of every single thing that I have that has to do with my business, I have a process for and it's on paper. So that is systems. and on paper and I say on paper it can be online you can have an online document you can have them wherever I'm just saying they can't be in your head so have it on paper um, which is basically you may as well just say uh, step by step okay. two other big fundamental pieces that are not just about business but about life and go <clears throat> I'm gonna say it actually goals but goals and a business plan you need to have your goals and your business plan again written down on paper it still has to go back to being on paper you can have it online this type of stuff me personally even if you type it up online I would still print it out I wouldn't just have it sitting on on a computer somewhere because you'll end up forgetting about it you won't remember where it is you will never look at it you'll never know if you're on track or not and the whole purpose of having goals is is to look at them to review them and what you need to be doing so you can achieve those goals if they're in the back of the car or screwed up in your trunk or you just have them on the internet somewhere and you're never looking at them how are you even going to know that you're reaching them how are you going to know what you need to tweak to match them and some people like to say it's in their head but there's proven facts you can go and look at studies um, from people that tell you the difference between people that write it down that are successful and people that don't write down where their success is at and it's always the people who write it down are more successful in doing them. Business plan fundamentally is going to be a three tier thing it's going to be long term mid-term and short-term goals so your business plan is, is, is going to be a part of goal planning so let's say you want to make 150k 150k so you want to make 12,500 per month now you have this monthly number you're going to see what you need to do to earn this so let's say you need three transactions a month to complete this number here okay and then now you have to say to yourself, from these three transactions, what do you need to do? I know in my business, if I contact 10 people, I'm going to get two leads and probably one deal, let's just say, okay? I'm just giving you examples here. So if I've got to do that, I've got to times that by three. So really I've got to call, or call or meet 30 people, then I'll get six leads which three of will turn into transactions. So now, we've just actually done a very basic business plan right here. Short term, mid term, long term. That is basically the essence of a business plan right there. And you just need to break this down to whatever type of business you have. You could be selling cars. These numbers might be different here, but there's going to be some type of formula for your business. I just know what my formula is within the real estate industry. But every business is based around numbers. Every business has some type of formula like this. That you know if you do this amount of activities, you'll get this amount of leads and you'll get this amount of transactions. And if you do that, you're going to, get, you're going to hit your numbers if you actually do your activities. And then your activities are going to turn into that monthly income and that monthly income will turn into that yearly uh, income that you need. It is product, people and process, no matter which order you have it in. As long as you got those three things and you work on them and you make sure you got those good fundamentals. Um, let me know if you have any questions, subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and we'll be coming up with more information and helping you create wealth through real estate. Thank you. Bye.